Hi, sweetie pie. Another book here before I go back outside to work on this beautiful day. And this one is called Every Breath We Take, a book about air. And you'll notice, because you notice such things, unlike most of the books we read that are fiction, where there's an F and then the first three letters of the author's last name. Why does it say P? Oh, P for picture book, not F for fiction. That'll be when you're a little older. Oh, I was looking outside, so my sleeves got a little dirty. Um, P for picture book. Yeah, P for picture book with the first letter of the author's, first three letters of the author's last name. But this one is using the Dewey Decimal System. Oops, I put the wrong one down. And it has J because it's juvenile. So it's the the children's section, and then it has the call number, and the call number is by topic, and it's a great, great thing because you can know exactly where to go in the library to find whatever it is that you want to find, or um, and it's the same in every library. So this one is J363.7392, and then they have the first three letters of the author's last name, which is AJM. So there you go, J363 point. Oh, there's an ant on the screen. Oh, you, you like spring. I love spring, not necessarily the ants. Every Breath We Take, a book about air by Maya Ajmira and Dominique Browning with a foreword by Julianne Moore, who is an actress, I think. Mom's Clean Air Force, Fighting for Our Kids' Health. Beautiful light blue, like this guy. Every breath we take. And this is photographs, not drawings or paintings. It is Julianne Moore, the actress. And there's a foreword. If I told you that everybody in the world shares one invisible thing that keeps us all alive, would you believe me? Oh, that's a lovely smile that she has, isn't it? If I told you that that same thing, I mean, that that thing is inside of us and outside of us at the same time, would you think I was crazy? Well, maybe no, because we read the title of the book. Maybe. Or maybe you would know that I was talking about air. Yes, we kind of did. I think you would know that because kids are smart. Kids are so smart that they sometimes know things before grown-ups do like how to take care of our planet and keep our air clean for all the people, animals, and plants to breathe. Sometimes grown-ups have not been so smart about keeping the air clean, and we need to work harder at that, because the air is important for all of us, but especially for you kids. You are growing and learning and getting bigger every day, and so we need to make sure that there is plenty of clean air for all the kids all over the world. We need to do that, because we love you so much. Julianne Moore. Air is everywhere, inside and outside. Every breath you take is full of air. Now, you can't take a picture of air, but you can take a picture of things that make us think of air or show us things about the air. But if you take a breath in and then blow it out, air is partly what you're taking in and what you're blowing out. Every breath you take is full of air. Every single person on earth, no matter where he comes from or what she looks like, needs clean air. Air keeps us alive. Beautiful pictures in this book. These are photographs. Look at that little boy, those little girls, and that lady. Her nose is scrunched up, so I wasn't sure if it's a lady or a little girl. When a baby is born, he fills his lungs with air. When a baby screams, she pushes air out. You can feel air going into your lungs too. They are like balloons. You can hug yourself and feel the air moving in and out. 
hug yourself. Hug yourself. Well, I don't know what they mean by that. Hug yourself. Oh, your mom explained it. But we get to take a breath in and feel it going in our lungs and out. These are balloons. Lungs are a little bit like that. Every creature, big or small, needs clean air. Elephants, grasshoppers, dogs, turtles, and monkeys all need clean air. That is a beautiful grasshopper, and it's on a leaf of some kind. That's a gorgeous grasshopper. And this is a gorgeous elephant with a baby elephant like we saw last week in the video with Mr. Rogers, and they were giving the baby elephant a bath and the mother elephant a bath. That's a turtle. You'll see turtles at, the, at our lake. And that's a monkey. Around here we have to go to the zoo to see monkeys because there aren't any natural ones wild. Grass, flowers, trees, and vegetables need clean air to live and grow. Ah, look at that garden. Oh, well, you can't if I'm holding it that way. Do you see the Brussels sprouts? And carrot tops? And lettuce? And beets? Better let you see it. Excuse me a moment. so much fruits and vegetables in it. Look at this. When you come, I'll give you some. I'll take a sip now. Mmm. Delicious. It separated a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I have to stir it up. There's strawberries in that green drink and pomegranate juice and an orange and kale and other things. Clean air is invisible, but you know it is there. You see air coming out of your mouth on a freezing cold day. You can see air moving the leaves on trees or blowing bubbles everywhere. Hey, what happened to your... Oops, it went black. Got to put it back on. And air, you see it when on a cold day. When you throw leaves around, or when they fall from the trees, or when you blow when we blow bubbles. You can feel the air on your skin. It can feel warm or it can make you shiver. When the wind blows or a breeze, we've had a lot of wind for the last few weeks. Breezes can be so gentle that they rock you to sleep. Storm gales can be so strong that they blow down trees. This looks like a breezy day, and this looks like a very windy day. Wind is moving air. Wind is air that's moving. Butterflies, dragonflies, birds, and airplanes ride on the wind. These are hot air balloons, hot air balloons. So do hot air balloons and dandelion puffs. Ride the wind, that is. Kisses fly on the wind when you blow them to someone you love. Blowing a kiss to you, my man. Here's a little boy blowing a kiss to someone too. Or does he have dandelions? No, he's blowing a kiss. 
air carries sounds. What sound do you think these little birds are making? Bring us food, bring us food, bring us food. Air carries lullabies at bedtime and songs sung out loud. It carries the sound of birds chirping and of thunder rumbling when it rains. All those sounds are carried in the air and by the air. Clap of thunder and lightning. Lightning isn't the sound. The thunder is the sound that goes along with lightning usually. These people are singing loudly. Air carries smells too. It carries all kinds of scents, like the sweetness of chocolate chip cookies, the saltiness of the ocean, and the spiciness of pine needles. This little boy smelling a flower. And this is the ocean. And the little bits of spray that that the air carries would would sort of taste salty. Do things smell salty? I'm not sure. And those are pine needles. Air looks and smells bad when it is dirty. That's called air pollution. Air pollution is not supposed to happen. There's no way that that is supposed to happen. Not at all. Dirty air can make us sick. sick. Sometimes it can be hard to breathe. In some places, the air is so dirty that it's hard to see across the street. We have rules about air pollution to keep our air clean. And dirty air can be cleaned up. There are many ways to keep our air clean. We can turn on the lights and heat our homes with clean energy from the sun and the wind. We can drive cars that don't pollute and ride bikes more often. And we can always walk. Your parents believe that a lot, which is why you live where you live. Great choices they make. The people taking a walk, riding bikes, and this looks like solar pa panels capturing the energy of the sun and using it in ways that we need it. And this is wind turbines capturing the energy of wind and using it for things that we need. Every breath we take should be full of clean air. Clean air is like love. It is invisible, but it makes life better. This last page has um, more like detailed things, so I'll read some of it. What is air? Air is the invisible blanket of gases that surrounds the entire Earth. Air is made up mainly of oxygen and nitrogen. It is essential for us to live. You take about 40,000 breaths a day. Your mom or dad or teacher takes about half as many. Smaller People and smaller animals breathe more often and their hearts beat faster too. That was good to know. Sometimes the air is bad. Air is not supposed to have any color or smell, but sometimes the air smells and looks bad. Smelly air can mean no one has cleaned up the dog poop on the sidewalk or the rotten vegetables in the trash can, or it can mean that there are dangerous chemicals in the air that shouldn't be there. Air that is bad for you can come from cars, smokestacks, and cigarettes. In some big cities, you can see the bad air. The sky is hazy with, with what is called air pollution. Your eyes might burn and it can be hard to see far. Your throat might become sore and you can get a headache. Air pollution is very unhealthy. Let me see if it gets any 
sometimes I can't breathe. Bad air can make it hard to breathe. Dirty air gets inside our lungs when we breathe it in. Teeny tiny bits of pollution called particles can sometimes even get into our blood and move all around our bodies. Dirty air can hurt us so much that we need medicine. Some kids may need inhalers when they are playing really hard. They might have asthma, a disease that causes the airways inside the lungs to get swollen and narrow. Asthma gets worse when there is air pollution. That's why we need to clean up our air and keep it clean. That's a girl with an inhaler to help her breathe. And the next column is what is climate change and how is it connected to air pollution? Got to read fast. The biggest air pollution problem we have ever created, greenhouse gas pollution, is causing our climate to change, making our weather unpredictable and more dangerous. We've added too much carbon and methane to, methane to the atmosphere, altering the natural balance of gases that has kept our climate stable for thousands of years. Greenhouse gas pollution comes mostly from burning the fossil fuels, coal, oil, and gas that we use for energy. The burning of rainforest and industrial agriculture add to the problem. Why is clean air so important? Clean air helps us stay active and healthy. Running, walking, swimming, singing, and even taking, and even talking can make us get out of breath, so we have to breathe even harder. It's important that every breath we take be full of clean, fresh air. I don't want to keep it for too long. Clean air matters to everyone and everything. Just like kids, animals can have breathing problems when the air is dirty, and the leaves of plants get clogged when they are covered with air pollution. Pollution from the air washes into rivers and lakes when it rains and dirties the water. Clean air is important to the health of the entire world. What can I do to keep the air clean? There are many ways you can help reduce air pollution. Share rides to school and sport activities whenever you can, and ask your parents not to idle. That means leave the engine running when waiting in the parking lot. Always turn off lights when you leave the room and shut down computers too. Lower the thermostat by a degree or two in the winter and raise it by a degree or two in the summer. Recycle everything you can to help save energy. And take walks and all the other things that we talked about. Nice book. Beautiful book. Every breath we take. Really pretty about air. Okay, sweetie pie, I'm heading out into the air to do a bit of work on this beautiful day. I love you so much. Have a nice day, sweetie.